Good morning, everyone, and thank you for tuning in today. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Later on in today's show, we'll be getting some fitness tips from Old Town Fitness. We'll also be talking about the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum. But first, the school year is in full swing, and along with it being a new beginning for the school year, it's a new beginning for the school district. For the first time ever, they have a selected rather than elected superintendent. Mr. Porter, the man who's filling the position, he's very excited and passionate about being here in the Keys. Now, he says that one of the great gifts of working in education is that there's such a sense of purpose for the difference that you can make in the lives of young people. Mr. Porter, thank you for being with me this morning. Well, thank you for having me, Jenna. I'm enjoying the opportunity to share with you some of the great things that are happening in the Monroe County Schools. Well, it's a pleasure having you here, and I'd like you to start by giving our viewers a little bit of information on your background. Well, as you noted, I do kind of have a sense of purpose and passion for public education, and I've spent uh, 34 years doing that in the, uh, in the state of Minnesota, ironically, uh, a little bit far from home here in the Florida Keys. But uh, I've been a teacher, I've been an administrator, I've actually been uh, a school board member, as well as in-house legal counsel and ultimately superintendent uh, in uh, the school district that I worked in Minnesota. So uh, this is something new and different for my wife and I, but we're really excited to be here. All right. And now what would you say are some of your top goals, Mr. Porter? Well, number one, our top goal is always going to be about kids and, uh, and student achievement. And so uh, that's what we're really focusing in on and looking at. Uh, one of the things that I, I think uh, in the first 50 days that I feel I've identified as being a little bit lacking is a real focus of what I would call a strategic plan for the Monroe County Schools. So that's going to be one of our top priorities because that will really help us focus our resources uh, you know, toward what we believe collectively to be in the best interest of kids. So that's where we're going to start is working on that strategic plan and uh, putting that in place during the school year. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned, okay, so you noticed that one of the things we were kind of lacking was that strategic plan. What else were some things that you would like to see changed? Well, you know, Jenna, my way of bringing about change isn't to come in and kind of begin making a lot of changes, but it really is to take the opportunity to understand what's already in place, what's happening, and as I say sometimes, is to try to merge my interests with the things that are already underway and then begin kind of redirecting them in a way that I think would be in the best interest of the, of the Monroe County Schools. So right now, um, you know, other than the strategic planning piece, uh, I think there are a few things within our organizational structure that need some fine-tuning and some tweaking to, to make us a more effective and uh, efficient organization. But otherwise, I'm really working closely with a lot of our district leaders as well as our citizens and parents to, to determine, you know, what is it that they would like to see happen here and how might we go about bringing about, uh, you know, greater success on, on behalf of our students. Mm -hmm. Have you heard a lot of response from from parents and teachers? Have they come up to you? Have they addressed certain topics to you, Mr. Oh, Porter? Oh, absolutely, and that's really mm -hmm. what I've been trying to do is make myself available and accessible. And uh, yeah, people are willing to talk. I'll mm -hmm. tell you the one thing that I do know very clearly is that our communities, uh, our citizens, our parents, our students, they're all very proud of their mm -hmm. schools and they really want to be proud of their schools and they want them to be the very best they can be. So despite the fact that there have been some, uh, some times of difficulty and challenge in the not too distant past, uh, we're ready to look ahead and really work together to, to do what's best for kids. Okay, now like you just mentioned, there has been some challenges in the past, so I know that the teacher morale maybe has been a little bit lower than normal, but you're saying that you feel there's a big sense of pride. I really do. Mm -hmm. I, I think they want to be proud of the work that they do, and I think we should know that despite some of the challenges that they've faced, our, our students continue to perform at a very high level. So uh, while the morale may be, be a little bit low at the moment, uh, I still think we're getting an awfully strong effort out of our teachers in the classroom, and that's what's important uh, for kids. So we will begin looking at what we can do to, to bring about a more positive attitude, a more positive perspective on, on behalf of our teachers and our staff. But uh, I think generally there's a lot of good things happening, so our first step is to really acknowledge that and promote that a little more. Mm -hmm. What are you most excited about, about living down here in the Keys, Mr. Porter? What am I most excited mm -hmm. about? Yeah. Uh, you know, probably mm -hmm. uh, not shoveling snow. Uh, <laughs> you know, that uh, I probably, I, I joked with some people as I was departing Minnesota here at the beginning of August, I said, I think I have started my last snowblower. Uh, <laughs> so that'll certainly be one of the things, uh, obviously, I think that the, the variety of opportunities there are here for, for recreation. I do enjoy the water. I don't own a boat at this point in time. I know that puts me in a minority of those uh, residents <laughs> of the Keys, uh, but I do enjoy all the different things you can do out on the water, and I'm looking forward to take advantage of that on a year-round basis. Do you do any fishing? 
You know, I do a little <laughs> bit. I, I fish casually. It's a little bit like my golf game. I do it uh, not often and not well, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, both of those things maybe can get a little better while I'm down here in the Keys. Okay. Now, I know it's just September, so it's early to say, but are you enjoying your time so far down here in Monroe County? Very much so. You know, uh, I'm learning a great deal, and, uh, you know, not everything I learn is, uh, is, is positive. Sometimes I'm learning about new challenges or what I might refer to as new opportunities. Uh, but uh, in general, I think there's a lot of great things happening. There's a lot of great things about living down here. I did uh, get to go through my first tropical storm experience <laughs> as, a, as a member of the emergency uh, response team uh, there and learned a great deal about that as well. So, uh, but again, nothing that has in any way detracted from uh, our decision to be here and to be part of Monroe County. Okay, wonderful. Hopefully no more tropical storms for a while, right? We're hoping that's the way it goes. I do just like everyone else. You watch those maps a little bit, and you're pretty glad to see when they turn and steer away and go in another direction. So that's we'll right. hope that just continues. <laughs> thank you so much for being on the show this morning and sharing all of this information. Well, thank you, and I hope I can come back sometime. You will. All right, I'm going to take a quick break right now, but please stay with me. I'll be right back after this commercial break.